Everyone remembers that time in their childhood where a friend held up a flashlight to their face in the pitch black and told you a petrifying story that kept you up with the light on. The fear, the excitement, the thrill. It is almost addicting in a way. Horror films are a perfect display of why we love these stories and experiences so much. Sure, an action movie can show you a car exploding, a drama can show you a person crying into a pillow, a romance can show you unrealistic expectations, and a comedy can give you a much needed chuckle. But today, I'm here to tell you why horror is the best film genre around. Horror films are the most versatile and creative genre out there. The genre is broken up into multiple different subgenres that display the diverse nature of these films, despite the formula that many have grown accustomed to. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. According to the New York Film Academy, these subgenres include slasher, splatter, psychological, survival, found footage, paranormal, and even monster. Each of these subgenres feel like completely different films, although they all scare the bejeebers out of us and share the same umbrella of horror. Not to mention, horror can be shared among other genres such as thrillers, which often use horror elements throughout their story. The subgenres listed present how horror has redefined film as we know it and has even reinvented itself time and time again. An example of this is seen in slasher films. Said beautifully in Eli Roth's History of Horror, slasher films made the antagonist of the film the main character. For the first time ever, you found yourself rooting for the villain. Another example would be the found footage subgenre, starting with the Blair Witch Project in 1999, being a first of its kind and even making people think that it was actually real. This was followed by the successful Paranormal Activity franchise, starting in 2009, which spewed off a lot more of these that no, nobody really asked for. But the subgenre crept into other genres, leading to films such as 2012's Chronicle and Project X. A final example is the unofficial zombie subgenre, combining the subgenres of survival and monster. This all started back in 1968 with a film by the name of Night of the Living Dead, written and directed by George A. Romero. Zombies are a very normal concept now, but in 1968, they were nearly unheard of in terms of how we think of them today. We can still see the effects of Romero's work with endless television shows, movies, video games, and even a movie I made my sophomore year. Moving on. These subgenres also have very different effects on the viewer and elicit completely unique reactions outside of just being spooked. Which brings us to our next point. Horror films have a profound effect on not only you, but the whole world. As stated by AMC's film site, the horror genre plays on our most basic primal instincts of flight or fight. To quote them, watching a horror film gives us an opening into the scary world, into an outlet for the essence of fear itself, without actually being in any danger. Whilst a slasher film can leave you cheering and on the edge of your seat, a psychological horror can make you think deeply and feel disturbed, sad, and dreadful. Sadly, many people view horror as a cheap, grade B, grotesque genre, but often these films have deeper meanings and underlying messages that if you dig deep enough, you might just find. Taking yet another look at Romero's impressive filmography, Dawn of the Dead is a perfect example of underlying messages in a horror film. On the surface, it's a movie about the undead taking over the world. Yet, after a closer evaluation, it is accepted by film experts everywhere that it is really a social commentary on consumerism in disguise. As shown, the way a horror film presents itself to you will change how you view the world on a larger scale or on a more personal one. Everyone knows the best part of a horror film is well after it has ended. You find yourself turning off the light, setting down your phone, and being in a dark room afraid of every creak, every noise, and every shadow because of what you have watched hours before. But as Paranormal Activity taught us, not even your bed can save you. Bringing us to our final point. It is important to know that you don't have to be scared alone. In the face of fear, you gravitate toward another for comfort, and I think that plays into why horror brings about the largest community aspect in film. As stated by The Odyssey, the recent season premiere of American Horror Story trended on Twitter for the entire day after the episode release, and the conversation fans were having on social media was jaw-dropping. AMC's The Walking Dead 
hosts an event every year called Walker Stalker Con, in which fans can hang out with the cast and crew and all nerd out together. There is also the famous Rocky Horror Picture Show that has a crazy cult following. Take your own experience, for example. On Halloween, if you're not out at a party getting completely trashed, what is more fun than sitting down with friends in a dark basement with candy and popcorn at the ready and binge watching some horror films? Or how much better is a horror film in the theaters with a packed crowd all biting their fingernails and feeling the same way you are? All film is subjective and should be appreciated for what it is. Due to the creativity, the real life implications and psychological effects, as well as the community aspect of horror films, I believe horror to be the best genre out there. If you think of horror as nothing more than an hour and a half of fake blood and bad acting, <laughs> well, sometimes you're right. But I urge you to give horror a chance and take a deeper look and appreciate it for what it is. The next time you have the opportunity to sit and be scared, take it.